Wow, can you believe it? We're on day seven. Uh, I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm finally starting to feel really good. I feel like I have a routine down. I know when I'm hungry. I know when I'm just bored and kind of feeling like I should munch. And none of it feels really hard. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, and not to say that it didn't before, because the first few days are always really hard for me. Um, but the fact that we're already a, a weekend feels pretty awesome. So what I wanted to take the time to do today is kind of show you a few little hacks that I like to keep on hand and utilize so uh, it makes the meal portion or the liquid portion relatively easy while I can still maintain focus on vital nutrients, hydration, and, um, and so forth. So I've talked a lot about uh, collagen and, and making it a complete protein. When I am on the go, I use packets. I'm not a big fan of single-use anything. I'm also not a big fan of food emergencies or eating shitty food. So this is my compromise. I keep this in my desk. I will throw it in my backpack when I travel. But this will allow me to continue to prioritize protein and to support good gut health, supporting those tight junctions of the small intestine. And the tight junctions of your small intestine should uh, allow nutrients to permeate and um, s move along undigested food and other uh, materials. But what happens is when we have inflamed intestines or um, we're exposed to glyphosate or um, other uh, lower GI um, adjutants, I guess you could say agitators, uh, your tight junctions loosen up. And so then your pathogens, undigested food, then float into the body and your body doesn't like that because it doesn't know what to do with it. That's not how it's designed. So then it sends out the artillery and in the form of inflammation. So uh, collagen is a great way to tighten up those tight junctions of your small intestine so that the nutrients can permeate and what's not supposed to permeate doesn't. It gets excreted. So that's one hack. Um, another one is noons. I don't think these are perfect, but they're easy and they're accessible at most, even conventional grocery stores that have a health food section. You can find a noon. Um, I like these because again, they're easy. I can keep it at my desk. Uh, I tend for when I use um, some type of electrolyte, I usually use one from Pure Encapsulation or Element. I love those. I just didn't have any on hand. So if you're familiar with LMNT, Element, those are the absolute best. I just didn't have any on hand. So, um, but keeping some type of easy to access hydration tool is key because remember hydration is how you move nutrients along with minerals into the cells and how you remove waste. So if we are cleansing, that's what we wanna do. That's like foundational. Um, I think I've shown these before, but the Garden of Life, these ingredients are, are pretty darn good. Um, there's a lot of brands out there. I just happened to grab these at the good food store in town because it was successful. This has so many um, phytochemicals and nutrients in one packet and then again, 20 grams of protein. So, um, and then also fiber. So this is uh, an awesome tool for those liquid meals that you are feeling like, I don't know what to make. Then I've got this microbrew right here. This like mycelium cocoa. I mean, the recipe that I posted for my cocoa is obviously superior, but there's a lot of ingredients in that and it kind of takes a while. And if you don't like it to be very viscous, my recipe, take out the chia seeds. And if you still are not into it, try this. This is sweetened with coconut sugar. Um, this is a treat. This is not a meal replacement, but this is if you're really craving something. And then lastly, because our, you know, our food intake is relatively low in this, um, I like utilizing rice ramen in a, like if you're really hungry and you need more than just like a soup that's brothy, you might throw a half a brick or something of rice ramen in. Um, it's not gonna kill you. Yes, there um, it's processed carbs, but you might need some calories. So there you go, there's some hacks today.